Hey guys, Peter Steele here, back with another video, and I have another disaster save for you guys. This one was sent in by Lovis Bolt, and he writes to me, Hey Peter Steele, in this game I was playing as Belgium, good on you, and defeated the Allies with Germany. After that, I declared on Germany while they were fighting the Soviets, but the Germans are pushing me back. I'm almost out of manpower using all the DLCs. Sure, you're gonna have fun with this save game. Well, I do love me some Belgium. It is my sworn duty to protect this country, and I will. All right, let's see just how bad things really are. I, I don't like... <laughs> don't like the look of this already. But first, if you like these videos, leave a like, consider subscribing and hit that bell icon to be notified whenever I upload more content. If you like what I do and want to support the channel, consider checking out the YouTube memberships. It's down there. Hit that join button next to the subscribe button. It will take you to the membership page. It has all the information you need. But now, on to the video. Okay, it looks like you've been breached. They've pushed across the river line. Your country's cut in half. Now, it's relatively similar to that Imperial French game we saved as the first video, except that all of our heartland is right here on the border. There's not much more retreating we can do. You've got a slice of Scotland, or rather the UK, not that important. The Italians are, well, doing nothing really. That's good. Let's take a deep breath and see what we can do. All right, you've got the Royal Navy. I can use that. You've got a good amount of airplanes. Okay, what are you producing? Ooh, a lot of garbage though. Focus-wise, this is just the standard focus tree, so nothing fancy left, really. I am going to stop taking a focus to get more political power. I want stability and war support to go up. These are not great. How is the political cabinet looking? This guy can be switched out. Yeah, this guy is also not that important anymore. Yeah, we need political power. Decisions, nothing fancy. No. You're building civilian factories? Now? In 1942? A little late, my friend. A little late to the party. I'm gonna get rid of these forts. Forts aren't gonna do much good for us anyway. I would like to build synthetic refineries. That's not gonna happen. Instead, we'll just build a couple of mills. Assuming we can hold on to this land. Finish up the civilian factories, though. They've put in the effort. Might as well finish up. Relocate our spies to the border, where they make more sense. Reorganizing the navy. Just select everybody. Head back to Brest. Brest will do. A bunch of these that are stuck in dry dock. Oh, yeah, you probably took over the Royal Navy at a point where they were refitting a bunch of ships and they are now stuck without any dockyards to do the actual refitting. So we'll have to just pull these out. Okay, uh, this is not good. I'm gonna give ground here. She's gonna surrender. Let's see, hold on to this tile. This is mountains, I can hold that. That's plains, I can't hold that. All right, I'm gonna fall back to this line here. Just steadily withdraw these units. As for North Africa, I don't want to bother with North Africa. I just don't. French Syria, yeah, that's a lost cause. Don't rush those units there. There's no point. Reinforce the Italian border instead. I'll reorganize the army once those guys arrive. I'll, I'll reorganize when they arrive. So that's two things sorted. 24 divisions. They're stuck here. I, I could take Egypt. Then again, I don't really want to bother. I have Gibraltar and I can hold Gibraltar with relative ease. I, I just need the one tile. So I don't think they're going to push me out there. I need these troops on the front lines. Yeah, I, I need these troops back home. So I'm not going to bother with North Africa. It might end up being a mistake, but I, I'm going to pull these guys back. All right, now for the actual mess here. Delete all these orders. These guys are all 14 fours. I'll leave them as they are. Their purpose will be to hold on to are Dutch holdings. These are core territory. Don't want to surrender them. I'll leave them as 14 fours as well because they might be used in a small counter push to take a few more victory points here like Amsterdam and Rotterdam if we can. The rest here will probably be converted into 10 zeros. So yeah, the rest of the army is going to be regular old infantry divisions. I just much prefer 10 zeros. And what's this? Oh, you're using Indonesian manpower, but the template's not but, um, not what you'd like, really. Just add some infantry, add some support AA engineers, artillery there. Uh, that will make this defensive line a little more robust. I'll probably switch them out for our own manpower eventually, assuming we can get some more. We're on extensive, so it should be fine. Okay, now for this front, a new army. The Maginot is really not that threatened, so I'm just gonna pull a couple of units away, about one unit per tile, at least at the start, just to hold the Maginot. All these other units can redeploy and start plugging gaps in our actual front line, because boy, do we have 
have a lot of gaps in our actual front line. Oh, speaking of the actual front line, uh, we're going to have to redraw that a bit. This is not great terrain to defend, so I'm going to fall back to something more favorable along this river line here. So we'll fall back to these tiles behind the river. We'll still hold on to the victory points in Wallonie because they're all on the other side of the river, so no harm, no foul. I'll lose Maastricht. It's indefensible anyway. I will try to hold here, even though they've pushed across this river. They're too close to our capital. Uh, they're too close to Antwerp, Leuven, Brussel. Can't, can't afford to withdraw from there. Uh, I see a massive gap here that units are moving into. Ah, a solution to that problem. Tanks. I can make tanks. I'm going to immediately deploy those tanks. Let's plop those down here. New army. Don't think I have a feet. No, don't have a general spare. Well, just assign to that army for now. You'll have to do and just drive there to intercept and I'll strategically redeploy a unit there just to intercept the Germans moving in there. I want to contain them as best I can. The rest of the army will now start falling back to this defensive line here so they can start getting themselves some entrenchment. Entrenchment is going to be very, very important. Speaking of entrenchment, everyone commanding infantry divisions is going to get the ambusher trait if I can afford to do so. Ambushers are just that much better at well, holding a line. 5% max entrenchment is quite significant. I mean, infantry division attack isn't terrible, but you're not supposed to be attacking with infantry anyway. Okay, I think that handles the front lines for now. I will need to recruit troops to guard my ports until I get the navy into a proper position. Speaking of navy, so this is your royal navy. I'll regroup that and you've got some submarines going on here. Ooh, you're making sub fours. That's nice. Start making a couple of these task forces specifically for my navy to deal with the Italians. So all my submarine task forces will be used in the Mediterranean for now. I'll just dock them here until I can organize them and I'll raid the hell out of this place. We do have a lot of enemies. Oh, right, you see you have a Belgian Raj and it's not involved in the war. That's good. We can draw supplies or well, we can we can use that as a base to strike at the enemy from. Don't want to get them involved. It's too risky. You're going to lose Southeast Asia. Is this involved? Yeah, they're going to be fighting. So this is risky. We might end up losing this to Japan. That's unfortunate. So be it. All right, let's adjust our production as well. I don't need that many factors on infantry equipment. I'll settle for 15 for now. No, 10. A little more on support equipment. Definitely don't need this much on artillery. We will not be using a lot of artillery. Get some improved anti-air. Don't need transport planes. I... You're making interwar fighters? Really? <sighs> Fine. Fine. I'll deal with it. That means I just need to check out research. You're making sub fours. Not bad, but you'd be better off making sub threes. So once I get a bit of Navy experience, I'm going to make sub threes with a bunch of submarine four modules. They'll be a lot cheaper and perform just the same. So that is the route I'm going to take. Uh, let's check your research. Snorkels way ahead of time. Don't bother. Instead, oh yeah, improve the infantry equipment. Infantry is the backbone of your army. Mechanized. I'm not going to use that. So I'm not gonna bother. Let's get better medium tanks instead. Modern ship launchers. These do nothing. They are not related to submarines at all. These are surface torpedo launchers. So the stuff you put on a destroyer, a cruiser, etc. The torpedo launchers for submarines are included in the submarine tech. So if you just want subs, don't bother researching these. Instead, I'll... I, it's probably way too late. I'll, I'll just... I'll just research some fighters unless I need to devote time to yeah the industry might actually oh yeah synthetic oil experiment fine synthetic oil so I can build some synthetics god we we need better fighters and I don't think I can get any by maybe trade or like get um how do you do that license production can I license anything from anyone maybe the Soviets want to give me fighters um the Soviet Union has been kicked from the faction recently. What? What? Okay, this makes sense. This makes sense. This makes no sense. What happened here? Where's the common turn? Why is it called the Asian Pact? And, and why is there a Belgian Empire? Not that I disagree, but why? Okay, the Allies are still here, and the US is in them? What? Oh, they're just fighting uh, Japan, so that might settle things with Japan, okay? Oh, well, let's just let's just handle our own problems. Pretty sure that these interwar fighters are just going to be useless. I think you've got a small stockpile of fighters you took from someone else. Uh, I'll just plop them over the Benelux help there, I suppose. 
I've uh, got some transports. Pointless. All right. Uh, once I get mechanized defensive, I'm probably going to dedicate a little bit of time to improve our fighters. At least we're making anti-air. Is it included in our templates, though? Yes, it is. Okay, so we've got that going for us. Don't want to see these 7-2s again. What are the armor divisions looking like? Decent. Uh, could be better. Support AA. It's going to be needed. Engineers. Engineers are very important for tanks because they improve the um, movement, etc. over terrain that is not necessarily favorable to tanks. Also make these high priority or elite so they get their equipment first. Alright, this is gonna be exciting. Uh, once we unpause, all hell is gonna break loose, I fear. We'll see what we can do. Ah, trade. Before we do anything, trade. Um, boy, that is a lot of convoys for a little bit of rubber. Eh, we can afford to lose the convoys. Not gonna trade with British Malaya. Uh, that's just gonna be raided. I'll just trade with the Portuguese instead. I need 32. And chromium from Portugal. I trade with Turkey, but I, I don't wanna ship things with convoys uh, until I've dealt with the Italian and German navies. All right, that is our basic setup done. I'm gonna unpause and hope to God that we can actually survive long enough to make a difference. Wish me luck, guys. Wish me luck. All right, before we unpause, a few changes I've just realized. Um, these guys are gonna try and sail across the Mediterranean. Don't want that. I am going to strategically redeploy them to Ceuta. Then just hop across to Gibraltar and minimize our time at sea. And these guys, I'll manually sail them across. I don't want to spend time in the Mediterranean until I've established my own naval dominance uh, up here. Yeah, this is gonna suck. Not much I can do about that. One tank division is probably gonna be diverted to reinforce that region. And these two will drive up there to reinforce it. I see opportunities everywhere. Opportunities are plenty. Try and retake Amsterdam as well. It's a major victory point. We are <laughs> a little too close to losing for our own tastes. Don't forget trade is important. And one more change. I was gonna do synthetic oil experiments. All very nice, but I can still trade with the US. So this is pointless. Well, not pointless, not that important. Meanwhile, air is going to be very, very important for us. Doctrines might be, but air definitely need better airplanes. All right, wish me luck. This is going to be difficult. These units have arrived. Halt the advance. They should arrive in time to either reinforce them. I'm going to pull those units out. Otherwise, they're going to get reinforced. Mean. What I mean by that, tanks are going to arrive in the tile, but not in the combat. And um, since this unit is going to lose the combat, it's going to make everything withdraw at the same time. So I want this infantry unit out and the tanks in. The rest of the army is withdrawing in relatively good order. Strategic redeployment is going to be important. Now the tanks arrived. Let's let's hope they can can actually hold. Ooh, a lot of pressure there. On the plus side, we did manage to take Amsterdam, or we're about to take Amsterdam. These units uh, rush up to the Alpine front. Yeah, our first order of business is just going to be trying to stabilize this mess. This gigantic gigantic mess because the Soviet Union is going to lose. There's nothing I can do about that. Soviet Union will die. When the Soviets go, all these units are going to come round to the Western Front and barrel down on us. Not something I want and not something I can prevent. When they arrive, I better be in an excellent defensive position because if I'm not, I am just going to crumble. So either knock out Italy before that happens, it's gonna be a tall order with just three tanks and uh, missing a lot of equipment, or really beef up my defenses. So I'm gonna try and beef up my defenses as much as possible. All right, we are holding in this region. We could just take Rotterdam can link up our entire line. If that happens, we are golden. Well, not golden. We are just in a much better position to do anything to contest German air power. No, not even air power. We're just going to be much more organized if we can link everything up. We don't have to worry about supply going by sea. Speaking of sea, how's my navy doing? It's uh, starting to trickle in. A lot of these ships are in combat, though. Don't know why. I just need everybody to arrive. Yeah, a lot of my convoys are going to get raided. Not much I can do about that other than just not trade with uh, my puppets. The Japanese these navy is gonna give us hell. The Italian navy is gonna annoy us. German submarines are gonna raid the Atlantic. It is what it is. Um, we'll have to make the most of it. Okay, these are all relatively low strength. If I make a joint assault now, I might, might be able to push through. If I can take Rotterdam and link up my lines, we'd be in a much better position, but it doesn't look like no. <sighs> yeah, um, this is the major problem with this playthrough. The enemy has total air dominance. We have nothing in terms of air power. 
Without air power, you are incredibly weak. Uh, despite my best efforts, the Italians managed to catch several of my divisions at sea. Yeah, that sucks. That's a lot of manpower and equipment just gone for no good reason. Oh well, so be it. Uh, the Italians are really laying on the pressure, but I think we can hold here at least until reinforcements arrive. Just need more of them. I always need more of everything, really. Anyhow, I'm gonna use what little armor I have to try and nudge my way into Eindhoven and the Tal next to it, so I can use this river line as a defense, and maybe dislodge them from Rotterdam and the Tal above it, so I can have a bit more of a, a complete line here. Other than that, uh, I should probably be prepared to fall back in certain areas, because Germany is going to lay on the pressure. Oh, I see you haven't done the cipher. This is really good, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that and improve our encryption decryption. Espionage. I want to knock out Italy first. I'm going to start uh, spy efforts in Italy to get that um, collaboration government. Try and knock out Italy quickly. It's not much use against Germany right now. They're too strong. I should not be making attacks here unless it's to shorten my own lines. I see Germany has left this tile wide open, so I'm going to see if I can walk in there. Um, I think I might actually be able to. Yeah, all right, walked in there. End that combat, uh, see if we can take their units in Eindhoven out. If that works, we should be able to encircle whatever's in Rotterdam, destroy that and get a good defensive position going. Big if though, a big if. Um, all right, I have to keep an eye on that, but I also have to keep an eye on this front. We are bleeding, but it's relatively stable now that the reinforcements are walking in. Plus I have another army of 24 divisions here. I'll ship them across to reinforce this line. It's gonna be fine that we do that. Oh, we need so much more equipment, so anti-air, definitely support equipment, tons of it. Make a few less tanks and a few more units of support equipment. Darn. Doesn't look like we'll be able to dislodge them from Eindhoven. That is unfortunate, but it is what it is. Let's halt those offensives for now. Just dig in until we get an opportunity to strike. Gonna train a few more units. Yeah, this is all I can manage. Uh, they'll be used to reinforce the Maginot. I know that the Maginot is really tough and the AI doesn't tend to attack here, but trust me, when they smell weakness, they will pounce. Especially once the Soviet Union falls, they're gonna throw so many troops at that line that it's gonna buckle. Got a nice amount of command power. I'm tempted to use it for a last stand order for these units. Oh, they've taken Nice. Can I retake Nice? Might be able to retake Nice. Then again, I might not, so we'll see. No, it doesn't look like I can retake Nice. That's unfortunate. Was not expecting this line to break that easily, I'll be honest. All right, let's ship these reinforcements across. Is it just because Italy is throwing so many men away at this assault? Because I don't quite understand why we're getting pushed back here. It's probably because these divisions are pretty garbage, yes, and they're under strength. I don't like using colonial troops. I really, really don't. And if I want to switch them to my divisions, it's going to take forever for the manpower to arrive. And while I wait for that, these units are virtually useless. Going to make an executive decision here. I'm going to issue a last stand. It's expensive, but it's going to keep us in the fight. I'm going to make another executive decision here. I'm going to attack Eindhoven from three sides with armor and come in from the rear with 14 fours and support the attack as much as I can. If we take Eindhoven, that is going to be so incredibly good for us. Worth the risk, but wow, these units are well entrenched. I thought they'd be weaker. Now we'll see. Maybe we can make something happen there. Rest of the line. Oh yeah, we're under a lot of pressure. I'm gonna need these 24 divisions up there. So I'm gonna assign them to that field or marshal and ship them over. Good. As far as the Navy is concerned, they should all have arrived by now. Well, most of them have. There's a couple in dry dock. Uh, this usually happens when you take over an enemy Navy or one of your puppets navies and they have ships that are refitting and they get stuck in the refitting state without actually being in the queue where the refits happen. So they just sit there at like no strength or no progress for the refit. I'm gonna take out the uh, aircraft carriers since I don't think I have planes for them anyway. That leaves us with significant navy, though most of it is garbage. What I'm gonna do now is split off five destroyers and a light cruiser, assign those to a new admiral. And this is gonna be our spotting navy. I'm gonna make a couple of these task forces of just five destroyers and a light cruiser and they are going to be patrolling trying to spot the enemy submarines trying to sink them or at least discourage them from attacking our shipping anything i can do really to try and keep us in the fight the problem with these is i have a lot of ships but most of them are terrible so we'll set these on maybe patrol a convoy escorts better and these others will be our strike forces to strike at whatever the spotting ships find try to intercept enemy navies this is not optimal by far but 
it's the easiest way to use the navy without me getting uh, an aneurysm, really. The rest of these submarines can wait. I'll start raiding some Italian shipping in a bit, but not yet. All right, back to the land. I don't feel confident that we'll break this. I also don't feel confident that we'll hold in the other positions. Like, that is a lot of German pressure on our lines. Not to mention Italian pressure. Never thought I'd say this, but the Italians are really hurting us. I kind of want to shift all these units over from these horrible colonial divisions into actual... Why are these units not equipped? I have the equipment. Equipment will trickle in eventually, as will manpower. All right, that's doctrines out of the way. I'm not sure if I want shock and awe. This looks okay. Or if I want airland battle army tanks. Yeah, I'm not sure which I want or if I want either of them. It might be best if I can get uh, more piercing on my infantry to improve the defensive capabilities. Or I want to improve my AA. There's so much I need to improve. Uh, yeah, I'm going to improve my infantry anti-tank just because I know the Germans have a bunch of tanks that are going to swing my way and it's going to suck. All right, I'm going to call off this assault. It's not working. Let's not bother with it either. Oh, we need to reinforce Liege. Can I though? I don't think I can. Oh, please just hold until I can get my reinforcements in there. These guys, well, they're all suffering from attrition. That's bad. And the game thinks they're encircled, so I can't change it. What? I've got ports, man. Why do you think they're encircled? Uh, we really should retake Rotterdam at some point. Actually, I'm tempted to launch an assault on Rotterdam once this... No, I was gonna say once these attacks peter out, but they're just moving nine more infantry divisions in. God, Germany has so many troops. Never allow Germany to get this strong. And never allow yourself to be defeated in the air. You've really cocked it up by <laughs> completely ignoring air. I, I know this might seem harsh, but without air, you might as well not be playing the game. You will have a terrible time. All right, um, what else can I do? I'm gonna take these naval bombers, move them there, and bomb the shit out of the English Channel. See if we can get rid of the their submarines because they're spamming a lot of subs in this region. I'm gonna try and launch an assault on Rotterdam against my better judgment. And as I... Yeah, <laughs> look at that. They got 12 divisions in there now. We're not gonna do much there. We're not gonna do much. Can I cheese this? I'm gonna split you off. New army, new general, and last stand. That is gonna make you at least hold that bit for a little bit longer. The rest of the line is stable, but they're assaulting even the Maginot now because they know they have the numbers for it. It's gonna take a while for me to be able to deploy more troops to reinforce it. It's like they know they can smell I'm suffering. Italy has almost forced their way through as well. Oh, why? Why must you be like this game? Yeah, we're not breaking Rotterdam. Halt the assaults. It's pointless. Something has to happen in this re- Ooh, something might happen here. If I'm quick enough, if I can delay these guys. I may be able to break this tile. Maybe. But I will need to pin them here. This is risky, but it might pay off. I can immediately see them moving reinforcements in. I need pinning attacks. Pinning attacks. I need my armor to go where I need them to go. Please! Oh, come on! Come on! Just, oh, just give me a break. I can take him. I can take, I know I can take him. 81, 82, come on, come on. Just a little bit more, a little bit more. Pin them again. Cover from the, the north. Come on, come on. Nine. Yes! Oh, okay. Okay, um, that's good. Now to reorganize the lines here before things get too messy. These are all cut off. Yes? Yes, that is correct. These armor divisions will possibly be able to hold there. Maybe. These should be able to hold that, stop that attack. We are going to come under an incredible amount of pressure almost instantly. I don't have the command power to really stop them. So I've got to get my tanks into position, do whatever I can to um, make sure this stays open. So this is where I'll stack my tanks. These two tiles. These guys, what do I want you guys to do? Not sure. Um, don't want to do anything too risky. However, you stay on that front, and you five I can use to potentially take out Rotterdam. Once you've done that, I'll probably convert you into something a little less expensive. Or seven, actually. Yes, seven divisions to take on Rotterdam and Eindhoven. Uh, if I can circle and destroy those, well, destroy what I've encircled, that's 20 German divisions gone, and I can have my uh, my core territory back. That's good. Uh, we're getting destroyed here at Liege. This division is almost dead. Might want to actually withdraw that division so it doesn't 
doesn't actually die. Ah, it can't because it's still under orders not to. Okay, I need more command power. <laughs> I need more command power. I want to give my generals a couple of very useful traits like ambusher if they're in command of my infantry. Just, oh no, 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 Italy. So after all that, all that effort to um, deal with this up there, you're not going to believe this. But Italy managed a breakthrough. Italy, of all nations, managed a breakthrough. Italy. Italy managed to break through my lines. This is very embarrassing. Very embarrassing. But I might just have to fall back behind this river. Yeah. This is so embarrassing. But I have to withdraw in good order now. To just get these units out. Uh, so I can start getting entrenchments. Fall back behind that river. Oh, this is so embarrassing. So embarrassing. Uh, Germany is trying to leave with a lot of their divisions. Cannot allow that to happen. So focus on trying to take Rotterdam. Yes, I'm not too keen on letting Germany leave here. Uh, then again, there may not actually be much I can do about it. Despite their very low organization, um, they are very insistent on remaining where they are. And now we've got a German counterattack to the north. That's a bummer. It's like Germany's response to anything I do is throw more troops at it. And they can, they can spare the troops. They can actually do it. Meanwhile, I am scrambling for every inch of ground. Not ideal. Oh, just re retreat in the right direction for once, you idiots. Uh, I'm not even gonna get into position on time, am I? I'm gonna lose divisions here because they're retreating into enemy combat. Ooh, it's not great. How is this looking? No, they're gonna get their troops out of Rotterdam, I think. And it looks like they might actually break the encirclement if they defeat that unit. Oh, don't tell me they're gonna break the encirclement. All that effort for nothing. I can't. I cannot do anything. Oh, if only we had green or yellow air, we could make a difference. But it's not working because we don't have air power. Why didn't you get any air power? Tell me that. Why? What was your reasoning here? What was your reasoning for thinking it's a World War II scenario? I don't need airplanes. All I need is infantry. But you're not fighting a Napoleonic war here, man. Oh, well. What's done is done. Try to make the most of it. I'm afraid. I am very afraid now. I did not think that our Alpine line would fall. Oh, no, 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 no. We've lost Liege. They've broken the encirclement. Germany still has a billion divisions in this pocket, but I cannot close the pocket. I did sink the heavy cruiser of Norway, though. Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. Just no. <laughs> I got some subs. I am just going to use them to convoy raid, cut off whatever they have in Rotterdam, if that works at all. At this point, I'm content to let them pull their troops out. I, I cannot contest this. I, I don't have the strength to close it and destroy the divisions. I just don't. I need to focus on other things. Also, this is very annoying behavior. Just fall back. Don't try to recapture this tile. It's not going to work. Please just fall back and defend what you can hold. Don't try pushing. It's gonna end up poorly. Yeah, this this pocket's not going anywhere. Um, I, I do not have the strength to close it. Yay, we got better artillery. Not that it's gonna do us much good. Improve the AA. Boy, we lost a lot of factories by giving up... Um, what was that piece of France down there? This bit lost a lot of factories doing that. And these guys are going to get overrun, I think. Just hope that this defensive line can hold at least. Please just withdraw. I'm telling you to withdraw. Just do so. And they're going to get overrun. No, stop trying to attack into Liège. It's pointless. I don't know how Germany is still supplying this. I'm convoy raiding it and I have total naval dominance of the region. And still, they are getting the better deal here. I'm sinking a bunch of ships. I'm destroying... Oh, no, I'm actually losing a lot of planes. Uh, probably German air. But I cannot catch their submarines. I should probably build some sort of radar. But I, I have so much to research. I have so much to research just to keep this run viable. Oh, another German assault. Fall back. That's not going to work. So, yeah. Um, I thought we would do a lot better than this. Oh, what? They managed... What? Oh, it's stupid naval bombers, isn't it? Yeah, they're just gonna pick off my stuff with their idiotic naval bombing spam. Uh, I'm just gonna not bother with this sea zone anymore. Just abandon it. Abandon it entirely. Surely there must be something we can do here. There must be some way we can close this. This is eating up divisions I cannot afford 
to waste here. Has to be a way to break that. Surely there has to be. A little bit of extra armor might help if I can get these guys out and deployed here-ish. Might be able to make some sort of attack. And a bit more infantry, they can reinforce the machine out. But that's all the recruitment I can do for now. I am out of equipment. Yeah. That's it's it's improving, but not much. Okay, with more armor, maybe I can make something happen now. Can I? At least take Antoven. No. Is it just because of the air power? I don't know, but it's what it feels like. Oh, looks like something's happening now. Okay. Found the Italian Navy. Rather, the Italian Navy found me and it's sinking my ships. Where is my navy? My gigantic, massive navy that is just not doing anything. Oh, uh, moving to intercept. I see, I see battleship moving to intercept. Yes, we move to intercept. Maybe we can hurt the Italians with this. Actually, they're hurting us. This is a... Eh, Favorable trade, I guess. A heavy cruiser for three destroyers, three subs. And I'm out of fuel again. I'm trying to trade with the US, but it's, it's costing me a ton of factories. I got a ton of factories that I really can't afford to lose. I'm also going to change your occupation template. I just noticed that it was not exactly optimal. So I'm going to fill this entire thing out with cavalry. And uh, I've taken away your support companies and replaced them by military police. That's going to be a lot cheaper. Since you insist on occupying everything instead of using puppets, which would have been a lot better. Now, this should help. All right, I need less manpower and less equipment. Okay, we're holding this line against the Italians. Happy. Happy with that. I wouldn't say happy. I can accept that. Maybe one day we can counterattack. Magino is firm. Rest of our lines, eh, could be better. Could be worse. It is what it is. Smash my tanks into Eindhoven. Hopefully I can take Eindhoven and then push on to Rotterdam. This was all in all a reasonably... Oh god, that's a lot of ships. They're costing me a lot of ships. Should probably make different boats here. What I mean by that is uh, sub fours are expensive. I can't afford them due to no naval experience. Experience. I thought I'd get more naval experience from all this work I'm doing at sea. Okay, we're at least taking Eindhoven, looks like. All right, Eindhoven secure, is it? Drive in there. Drive in there. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. Just try... Pinning attack. Uh, Japan, thanks for that. Kicking me while I'm down. Appreciate it. God, they're sinking so many of my convoys. Uh, only thing I can really do about that is to build destroyers and use those destroyers with some sort of radar tech. Problem is, I don't have, I really can't afford to right now. I need my research slots to improve my land army just so I can hold against Germany for a little bit longer. Okay, so we would just need to knock out Rotterdam. I, I think I can do that. Let's get the armor in position, surround Rotterdam. Uh, all the infantry goes to this front line. The Italian line is holding now, though I, I wish I could have held them at the Alps. I must have uh, messed something up by changing division templates. Uh, these are really terrible. For some reason, they're not doing anything right. Well, they're actually the same template, but they're just not doing things the way I want them to do it. Same template, same stats, but it's not working out. I'm also losing a lot of stuff at sea. Uh, we're not sinking as many convoys as I'd like. We're not trading favorably with the Italian or the German navies because while you do control the Royal Navy, it's very large. It's pretty strong in its numbers. Most of it is extremely outdated, like very outdated. They cannot find submarines reliably and if they come into contact with an enemy, they tend to not trade very favorably unless you can really overwhelm them. Anyway, uh, tanks are getting getting where I need them to be. That's good. This infantry here, where are we? These guys, these guys. No, 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 no. Yes. I'm going to change you over to regular infantry. It's going to be a lot less equipment I'd need. And I'm going to change the front lines again. Something like this. And I just need to use the armor next to knock out Rotterdam. They should not be getting much supply in. Not the way we're convoy raiding them, but with the AI, you really never know. Yeah, and the way we're trading at sea, I'm, I'm just going to pull everyone back to port for a little bit. Get my fuel reserves back up. going to switch out production of these submarines to something a little more cheap. Like I said, sub 3s with the parts from a sub 4 and some schnockels. They should perform almost as good and they are a lot, like a lot cheaper. I'm going to spam these guys out. All right. Boy, do I need more divisions. All right, with a little luck, um, we'll destroy whatever they have now in Rotterdam with that done have a look and see what i can use oh are they how how are they doing this how look just i don't understand how italy is pushing across a major river 
with just infantry and winning against entrenched divisions. How? Well, this is how. In case you, anyone's wondering, this is why. It's because he didn't do anything with the air. Oh, if we lose that tile, it's over. Um, it's not much we can do to fall back even further. I don't have reserves. Uh, well, I'll have reserves when this, once this closes, I can... S oh, no, they take in the more. Gods. I've said this a, a thousand times now, but Germany is just so strong. <laughs> it's just so strong. Oh, but we almost got Rotterdam. We've almost got Rotterdam. That will free up my armor. I'm gonna send my armor south to try and deal with the Italians because I think Italy is really weak right now. Yeah, Italy is out of manpower. So with a little bit of armored shenanigans in this region, might be able to cut off this section of the Italian army and destroy it. With luck, with luck. I'll need a lot of luck. Uh, and hopefully uh, the north will be stabilized. This is already a lot of divisions and I, I'm afraid it's not enough. Can I recruit more though? I do have some infantry equipment spare. Okay, I could do another run of infantry to reinforce the main line here. No, nope, we're gonna lose this tile. I am not interested in losing that tile. So give you an army, any general will do, and I'm gonna cheese you on a last stand order. I know it's cheesy, but I just wanna win. Or rather, not lose. Not sure if I can actually win. Anyway, I'm gonna take a short break to unfray my nerves, because this is, is very painful. Uh, and we'll be back after that. Oh god, they've managed to lose two divisions already. Just two divisions that got destroyed. Wow, I need to reinforce this. Anyway, a small break. I'll be back after that. Oh boy. This is, uh, well, it's certainly exciting. It is that. Uh, once Rotterdam falls, I'll nudge them out of the age with the tanks and then swing south because I think I will be required down here. The Italians are pretty much blood dry, but so, so am I. <laughs> Still can't make any decent fighters. God, never neglect air. Don't know how many times I'm gonna repeat that, but never ever neglect air. Well, at least we destroyed some German divisions in uh, Rotterdam. Good. Now to push the enemy out of Liege. Got a good armored fist in these units. These are quite capable. So I might switch a couple of these um, medium tanks out for mm, self-propelled artillery. Organization is a little on the low side. Overall, these units should be fine. See if one of my puppets wants to help me out uh, with some garrison support. Thank you very much. Manpower, not that big of an issue, but it's going to be an issue eventually. Ooh, that's gonna help. I right, attempt to nudge the enemy out of Liège. Should be able to do that with these tanks, even without green air. And if that works, we have a decent defensive line secure. I think the weak points will be Utrecht and the province above Eindhoven. Ideally, I'd push up to the Rhine and hold the perimeter there or along here. That would be pretty good if we can pull that off. Oh, peace deal happening. Oh, the Soviets are gone. Oh boy. Okay, <laughs> tipping point all those divisions are gonna come straight for me i'm scared <laughs> i'm scared i'm gonna have to destroy italy and destroy italy quickly so i'll push up to liege and redeploy my tanks south to mess about there meanwhile this infantry is gonna be needed to reinforce my main defensive line i am actually very afraid of what germany is gonna do now uh, they are capable of hurting me a lot let's also get our stability up uh, i'd like to get war support up but they're just gonna keep sinking convoys and shooting down my war heroes which is bad as the war tips, I think war support is gonna go up eventually anyway. Okay, so everything here is fine. I'm gonna redirect my armor south. I'm gonna try and hurt the Italians. The Italians are the weak link here, and if I can get a good amount of damage in on them, we are golden. Well, not so much golden or saved, really. It's just the best option we have right now. Yeah, we're gonna see a lot of German divisions show up on this border as they are redeploying. If I push out from here, I just widen my front line. It's not worth pushing out in the Netherlands. Ideally, I'd make a big old encirclement here, but uh, the terrain isn't really suited to it. While I think I can hurt Italy in the south. On the other hand, my tanks are here. Mm, it's gonna be a big roll of the dice, but I am going to try something. See if I can do some damage to the Germans before they redeploy a lot of troops in my direction. Okay, our stockpiles are slowly going up at least. Don't need that many factories and artillery. Got tons of artillery. A lot more support equipment though. And ideally, if I ever get a research slot that isn't doing something critical, I'd like to get maintenance companies so I can steal some German and Italian equipment. Logistics companies, signal companies, very important. You've really skipped a lot of very important stuff. Oh 
oh boy. We are paying the price for that now. Mostly though, I am afraid of the Germans. Once they arrive in force with all those Eastern divisions, we're in for a very bad day. Anyway, that day is not yet upon us, so let's try and break open here. Advance onto the Rhine. Ooh, Siam capitulated. Oh, that's nice. China's doing well, so we might have an option to join the Chinese United Front if they ever manage to kick Japan out. Assuming they'll have us. Come on, boys. Come on, push, push, push. Mm. Looks like Italy realizes that it wasn't really doing much um, other than killing themselves and they've stopped attacking. These infantry units really aren't suited for a counterattack, so I'll, I'll not be able to exploit this opportunity, which is sad. A naval invasion around Genoa, push north and then come and swing to the um, west. Could have destroyed a lot of Italian divisions. I, I don't have the luxury for that right now. I don't have the troops available. More divisions. But we do what we can. We will do what we can. At least we have some armor divisions in the region and I'm gonna use them. Oh, I love those overruns to do as much damage to the Germans in this area as we can. My purpose here is encirclements. Create as many encirclements as we can. Preferably cut off this entire section of the line if possible. This is a very big gamble though. It could end up costing us dearly if it doesn't work out. Yeah, Germans are already responding, so it might not go well for us. This is also forest terrain, so not ideal for armored operations, but we'll do our best. Oh yeah, they're, they're counter-attacking. Uh, yeah, all of this is uh, forest, and tanks don't do well in forest, I'm afraid. It does hamper their air support, but it makes our units slow, and apparently we are also out of supply. It makes sense. Uh, yeah, let's uh, let's not waste too much effort on this. Should probably just fall back. This uh, gamble did not end up paying out. Let's just fall back. Fall back. Don't don't risk anything. All right, at least we retreated in good order. Uh, I'm gonna take the tanks out. That's not gonna work out. So maybe maybe I can strike at Italy here. I don't know, man. I'm afraid that when I pull my tanks out, the Germans are gonna pull something. Instead, let's try a little. Let's try something a little different. Let's try a little bit of an encirclement between Utrecht and Leeuwarden. It's not much, but it's honest work. Uh, at least the rest of the line seems mostly secure. Though I see we have supply issues. Yeah. Yeah, that area. Pretty obvious. I ought to probably abandon it. Yeah, these long front lines are not beneficial to us at all. Oof, Germany is really piling on the pressure now. Yeah, they must have freed up a significant amount of divisions that they were using against the Soviets. This is a lot of pressure on our lines, but we are holding. Uh, these guys are, yeah, it's pointless to try and hold that. Just withdraw. The rest of the line's fine. Good thing that I put two units on every tile of the Maginot, or they would have pushed through that with the numerical superiority. They, they might still, so <laughs> if I can get fresh divisions out, I want to use them to reinforce the Maginot. One good thing though is that we are not taking too many casualties. We're still hurting, but the Germans are hurting more, not to mention the Italians. Let's see how Germany is doing. That's still a lot of manpower, but Italy, Italy is is blood dry. Hope to be able to use that. Need more collaboration governments. Ideally, I'd get another spy as well, but I need more political power. I'll probably do fighter focus as well. Mm, yeah, I'll do fighter focus. I need better fighters. Looks like the Japanese have managed to land uh, Java, so this puppet's gonna be knocked out. Belgian Malaya is, yeah, gonna be knocked out next, so hmm, unfortunate. It is where all my rubber's coming from, but I think I can still trade with the US. Would have liked to have used synthetic refineries, but no luck. Can't afford them right now. Oh, can't afford to spend the research lot on it, rather. Uh, at least our defenses are holding somewhat. God, I want to take on Italy. They're so weak. See if I can make a small encirclement here, destroy some German divisions and push the front line out a tiny bit. Though every step I move forward is a risk <laughs> if it makes my front line longer. Still, uh, just sitting here defending is not an option. It's not an option at all. Uh, no, it tur turns out that, you know, attacking also is not an option. <laughs> Oh, uh, and they pushed me out of Liège again. It's such a difficult position to hold, even with the river, because it can be attacked from so many sides. It makes it very difficult to hold that position. Yeah, let's just collapse this back down into Leeward, and there's there's no point. There's no point. Yeah, it's it's gonna have to be Italy first, and then deal with Germany. Um, I'm playing on a very slow speed, so not much time has passed, but I'm I've been at this for like an hour and a half now. Um, it's it's hell. It is hell and suffering. <laughs> yeah, I can get some war propaganda, though I don't think that's gonna work. I think I'll be better off switching this guy out for an elusive gentleman. Get me another spy. Unless there's something in the military high command I can use. That might be useful. Uh, these army logistic might also be useful. Yeah, I'll get the elusive gentleman first, I believe. I believe that is the better choice. Can't believe Italy 
Italy is gonna be pushing me here. Unacceptable. Is against Germany? I'm fairly... What? How? How did they just... Oh... The armor... Was the armor doing the actual fighting? And these guys were in reserve when I pulled the armor out. The combat immediately ended. And the infantry did not take over the defense. Instead, they just got pulled out. Alright. Yeah, and this counterattack is just gonna be useless. Yeah, they're gonna reinforce that. And I'm pushing across a lot of water. Alright, so I just gave him Friesland. Another nail in my coffin. Uh, it's probably cost me a bunch of military... Fa yeah, that cost me a bunch of military factories. Damn. So that was stupid. I think my best bet, and I've said this a thousand times, is to try and not... Why are you trying to attack into Arnhem? Why are all of you trying to redeploy at once? Did my lines get reshuffled other than this tile? No, uh, that tile, but... <sighs> okay, for some reason, seven divisions are retreating with nearly full org out of the combat in Namur. Uh, this is gonna be a bitch, isn't it? Uh, and they're pushing it. Yeah, Germany's taken the gloves off. They've got troops in position. They've reinforced the entire front with all of their stuff that came from the east. Um, they're just gonna hammer me now. Meanwhile, Italy is probably slowly going to start recovering as, yeah, they'll get more manpower as they just went up a recruitment law, so I'm, I'm losing my advantage that I would have here. It's not looking too good, I'll be honest with you. And the air situation is, um, bad. <laughs> it's, it's just bad. I cannot stop the enemy. I'm sorry, I, I don't know how to win. I still think hitting Italy is gonna be our best bet, but I sh having lost these four or three provinces really lowered our chances of a successful naval invasion. Maybe if I hit Genoa and, and push hard, but I'd need infantry to back that up. I can't recruit infantry right now because I am totally out of equipment. I'm hemorrhaging manpower and equipment just trying to manage the defense. I'm losing my colonies and I'm not able to take one step forward. I am running into a wall of Germans. Well, more like a steamroller of Germans. Yeah, our industry is slowly being whittled down. I am very angry with you for not having done air properly. Let's look at the amount of divisions we've got in the front and it's not enough. It's not enough. Oh, I want to counterattack the Italians so hard. At least we might be able to dislodge them from Liege. Please, Germany, just stop attacking for a second so I can organize. My combo rating is mildly successful, at least. Though, I'll be really able to build a lot of subs. And I don't think you've done... Yeah, you've done nothing in terms of naval doctrine, so my, our subs aren't even that good. I'm not sure which side is best, but I think I'll go shock and awe once I finish medium tank twos. It's pretty obvious that our army needs all the help it can get right now. I'll start building collaboration governments in Italy. Hopefully we'll be able to knock them out quickly if we do three of them. If they last that long. I'll take at least one big enemy out of the equation. I got better fighters. I'm gonna get medium tanks. As good as I can make them. Resources. Ooh. Oh yeah, that's a lot, of, a lot of convoys sunk trying to get resources out of Malaya. I'm gonna leave this research slot open for a bit until I uh, get better fighters. And I'll use the bonus from fighter focus. So I'll wait 15 days to uh, pick that research. Uh, trade. There's no overland trade really possible anymore. It's all gonna have to come from the United States, which opens us up to some pretty nasty naval problems. That is to say, we'll be convoy raided into oblivion. Oh yeah, most of our factories are going to trade. We need to get our resource efficiency up as well. There's so many things that we need to do. Uh, might as well do that, yeah. Uh, I'm still gonna try something with my tanks, even though it's Probably not the best idea I've had. I'll try an encirclement here. They're all very low strength. So I'll try to push across uh, these two points and try and meet somewhere in the middle. Hopefully encircling this portion of the Italian army quickly. Trying to destroy it and set up a new defensive perimeter on the old Alpine line. I have to try something, otherwise we're we're screwed anyway. Defensively, the front is holding with a little micromanagement thrown in, of course. In terms of the air, not nothing, nothing really positive. Except that we can now build fighter ones in 1942. <gasps> Why? Oh, this is bad. Uh, they pushed through Sedan. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna need my armor in this position to just nudge them back a teeny tiny bit before they reinforce that too much. With the armor in place, I should, in theory, be able to uh, nudge them back out. Yes, who needs war support anyway? Okay, got the political power. Replace this guy by elusive gentleman. An extra spy, that will help. Just get that armor in position. It's always a night. What I hate most about the AI, when it redeploys, in cases like this, it tries to drive the shortest distance, which means it goes from combat to combat to combat 
to combat instead of doing the sensible thing and pulling back one tile and strategically redeploying behind the lines in a way that makes sense. Except it's just, it doesn't. And that makes redeployment done automatically take forever. Oh well, uh, time to smash these guys back, assuming we can. All right, fighter focus is done. I should probably work on doctrines, but I, I really don't know what to do right now. Maybe air production, construction engineering, maybe? I, I legitimately, I'm, I'm a, at a bit of a loss here. Uh, my mind is somewhat frayed from all the tension. I'll just try air production, get better fighters out. All right, we're pushing back, so we'll reinforce the river line once again. You know, once the armor gets to where it's going, it's it's pivotal. It changes the course of the fight. Problem is, uh, it takes forever to get anywhere because of the way the AI likes to redeploy things. All right, send the armor back to the Italian gambit. I hope we can make something work. This endless combat is taking its toll on my army, but I'm, I'm, I'm quite confident that it's certainly taking a toll on the Germans as well. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, it's taking a toll on my enemies as well. Hmm. Problem here is, those weak Italian divisions, they've been replaced by German divisions. Not great. Those are gonna be a lot harder to push through. Okay, slight deviation on my Italian gambit. I'm, go nope. I'm not gonna be as ambitious. I'm gonna try a little, uh, somewhat smaller approach. See if we can carve them up piecemeal, division by division. Small steps to make my way towards these ports, use them to naval invade Italy. But to really pull that off, I'll need more equipment uh, so I can deploy more troops. I am short pretty much everything right now. Well, mostly infantry equipment and support equipment, but that is um, what makes up the bulk of my army. And Liege is always under such fierce assault. I'm not sure it's actually worth holding on to, but it is what gives us control of the province. So that's a lot of factories will be given up, plus the steel. All right, let's see if we can make something happen with the armor. I doubt it, because of the major river crossing. <laughs> oh yeah, that's just... That's not gonna work, is it? Should never have fallen back this far. Okay, so even with the Italian troops being in complete disarray, and just incredibly weak, they've got a couple of German divisions in there that are still at a reasonable strength, and I cannot break them. I cannot push through. They've got too many divisions. Too many divisions everywhere. <laughs> don't know what to do just i don't know how i can win this campaign like, my best bet is a naval invasion like i've said but i don't have the troops for it i've got eight armored divisions that's very nice but i need infantry to back that up and i can't recruit any because i don't have equipment i don't have equipment because i'm constantly under assault and just barely holding on and the reason for that is red air Red air everywhere. All of my fighters are pretty much dead. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna ground all my fighters. This is, this is pointless. I don't know what to do with my armor. I just don't know. I can't break through here because the, the density of units is too high. I, I can't really open up the front lines. I can't break through here because the terrain is very, very much against armor. It's all forests and urban. I can't break through there because, well, Rim Major River and some forts. Can't break through here because of the Major River crossing. Now, I would need a uh, general that has adaptable... No, uh, which is it again that I want? Yeah, Trickster and Improv Expert. But I don't think I have any that can get Improv Expert. That would allow me to get across the front, but uh, I don't have anyone that qualifies. Yeah. <sighs> Japanese are ruining my day in uh, Southeast Asia, as they do. At least China's doing well. Might end up joining the Chinese United Front and pull them in against Germany. Might be a major lever if they are willing to accept me into their faction. See, my faction is just, well, me and my puppets, so I could just disband that. Doesn't matter. See if I can join the Chinese United Front. I can join the Chinese United Front. Okay, so I can pull them in against the Germans at some point. Any tiny Poland over there? Ideally, I would have joined the Allies. They they have a lot more fighting potential, but they'll never accept me uh, because of all the world tension generated at this point. Uh, major troop movements here. Um... Once these guys get their organization, I'm gonna try an assault on this province. It can be attacked, I think, from three sides? No, from two sides. Hmm. So I'll try and attack on that province. No, it can be attacked from three sides like this. So yeah, that province and then try to push through before they have a chance to reorganize towards Nice. Risky, I know, but uh, right now I'm a gambling man. It's the only thing that's ever going to see this uh, scenario end. Yeah, that river crossing is just nasty. <laughs> We're not getting across that. 
I need a better general. Somebody with adaptable or something. Like their division strength is at less than 50% and I cannot get through. Well, new plan. Uh, naval invasion it is. I'll head from Barcelona and try and hit these ports. Rush north, hopefully cutting this section off. Risky? Yes, I uh, might end up losing my entire naval corps. Um, risky? Yes, I might end up losing my entire armored corps. But if I do nothing, I lose anyway. By attrition, the odds are not in my favor. So I'm gonna hit the ports here and either push north and encircle them or try to break this place open and try to roll up this line because they are relatively low strength and one of my divisions have um, good odds and the terrain isn't holding them back. They should be able to defeat these guys. They're all very low strength. So we'll see if we can make something happen. Oh, I just realized I'm about to lose Gibraltar. Mm, if that happens, my navy... <sighs> It's gonna get trapped in the Mediterranean, so I'll need to either hold Gibraltar open, but I don't have the um, troops to do it or to break it open afterwards. Oh, good to know. Why is the Raj, my puppet, giving docking rights to Japan, Legionary Romania, and Italy? Could, could somebody explain that to me? Raj, what are you doing? What are you doing over there? Okay, we can make better fighters and then move on to fighter threes. That should help us. Uh, at least a little bit. I'm gonna wait with using my air experience uh, on the better fighters once I get fighter threes, if it lasts, if I last that long. <sighs> yeah, but most of our fighters are still pretty terrible, so I'm, I'm not even gonna bother putting them up. They, they'll just get shot down. At least our lines are stable. We're, we're holding, we've got more troops than we need, really. The enemy is, is just out of manpower, at least the Italians are. Uh, even with all adults served, but they're probably mobilizing. Uh, Germany is not out of manpower, but they are running low on equipment, so I can't see because, yeah, look at these bars. No, these bars. Like, they're out of tanks, and where they are constantly cycle charging, their units are weak. We are... we're safe. I don't think they can break us anymore. But, yeah, this is gonna be a big gamble. Let's see if we can pull this off. Big old naval invasion with all my armor behind it. This could end up costing us very dearly. Or it could end up winning us the war. Ooh, off to a bad start. Toulon is garrisoned. Marseille isn't. Gotcha. They've got more garrisons here than I would have assumed. These are Romanian divisions, so they're not quite under strength as well. But they should not be much of a match against our armor. Let's do as much damage as we can before they're able... <clears throat> Let's do as much dam... Let's do as much damage as we can before they are able to uh, respond properly. Moving ever more divisions in here. Good. Take Toulon and circle and destroy that division. No problem. Hmm. After that, I think I need to rush my armor north. Toulon is taken. Keep going north. I can get an encirclement here. These Italians just have no strength left. That is Toulon taken. And our, our naval invasion got intercepted. Of course it did. Of course it did. Doesn't matter. They're all extremely low strength. Keep pushing. Just keep pushing. Destroy them now. This is an opportunity. Move to intercept. Come on. Just move. Please just land. Stupid tanks. Get out of that naval combat. Disengage. I have the... I have a task force of the Royal Navy here. They've just chosen not to participate. Oh yeah, that hurt us. That hurt these tanks. Oh wait. Okay, 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 okay. okay. I need to break through there. If I can break through to the north, just the lines. If I can just break through here to the north, I cut off such a large section of their army. They are in such disarray, they don't know what's happening. Oh, they, they do know what's happening and, and they don't like it. Got a breakthrough, come on. Come on, just two more tiles and I can get the entirety of that army encircled. No, come on, come on, come on, no! Oh, they're getting through. They're getting out. They're just getting out. Um, increase the pressure with the infantry. Attack there, attack there, attack there. Like, this is a very bad tile to attack. I realize this. But it's not like I have an abundance of good tiles to attack presently. I'll just start pushing into Genoa. I, I just hope I can I can eventually... Oh! Oh! Opportunity! Quickly, get in there. Get in there. Cut that off. 
That will see these. Yeah, okay, they're all encircled. Good. All right, now the infantry has to hold that. The army will push into Italy. Oh, well, the, the armor will push into Italy as soon as we close this pocket. Oh boy, you guys need to redeploy, like, quickly. Don't allow them to escape now. Oh, this pocket. This pocket, man. <laughs> oh. <sighs> Deep breaths. Advance into Italy. Take whatever we can while we have the opportunity. These guys are all going to start starving soon and I'll be able to mop them up with just infantry. Until then, I'll need to keep um, this open or closed with my armor. So don't advance too far until the infantry is actually in position where they, you know, need to be. Oh, we're outside Milan. Good. Our line to the north is holding. Navy. Yeah, yeah. Navy. You know, navy. Yeah, I really don't care that much about the navy anymore. This is a good pocket, though. This is going to be a lot of divisions. This is going to be a lot of divisions they'll lose. I just hope they don't bug out and suddenly find supplies somewhere. Because it looks like... Oh, it looks like they're trying to escape. That is unacceptable. I might actually be better off uh, doing this advance with my infantry and cleaning that up with my tanks. It would result in fewer casualties. <sighs> it certainly would. I'll adjust when I can. Yeah, they're taking attrition, though. They should be taking a lot of attrition. They don't have any victory points except Annecy, and that's um, that's a small one. Oh, no, they have Grenoble. Well, had Grenoble. We're about to take it from them. Yeah, these should all start starving. Like, a lot. I'll just slowly tighten the noose, destroy these divisions. That's a lot of divisions. I think that's... Uh, good bulk of the fighting force of the Italian army and then I'll deal with the rest of the peninsula but I need that infantry to follow up behind my tanks. The rest of the line is stable. Germany stopped attacking. I think they realized um, they've got bigger issues to the south. Might not actually need this. Oh well, we're getting it anyway. Oh, it feels good to finally be able to strike back at the Germans. Or rather, the Axis. Oh, that feels good. Suddenly we don't need that much steel or tungsten or pretty much anything anymore because we retook what we lost. Good. Good. Freeze up more factories. Just gotta close this and... Oh, no. My agent. Oh, we got the collaboration government, uh, but they got my agent. Let's see if I can save him or her. Oh, revenge is sweet, isn't it? Revenge is sweet. I mean, it's not a death blow to the Italian army. Think, but it's certainly gonna help. Roll up the rest of them, maybe do another naval invasion around Rome, push south, and cut across here, maybe? Hmm, so many options. Ooh, good amount of German divisions here, actually. More Germans than Italians. It's uh, very realistic for World War II as well. Oh, yeah, 38, uh, another four here, so this is 42 divisions gone. Look at the overrun. Oh, yes, come on, come on. Ah. <sighs> Ah, that is so good. Bloop. All gone. Now to divert that army, you'll be needed on this side of the front line. Just hold the northern front, I think. And I'll shove my tanks down south-ish. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll ram my tanks to this area. Oh, that is a good amount of... Oh, that felt good. That felt good. Finally breaking the stalemate like that. I think we are We're on a roll now. Took us <laughs> three hours. Mm. Manpower is getting low, though. Yeah, I probably bled a lot of manpower attacking into that. Is any two there? Five there. Yeah, these are the last recruitments I'll do for now. I really can't afford too many, uh, many losses now. Could go up to service by requirement, but I don't want to. Really don't want to. Uh, this remains difficult. I had thought I would be able to break Italy easily, and while it's not exactly hard to push on, there's a lot of garbage divisions in my way. Like, a lot of them. Uh, once I can get some freedom to maneuver, though, we should be able to push through cleanly. Just slowly edging my way towards the Italian capital. How is Italy looking? Okay, they capitulate when 33% or less. They still got quite a few divisions, but not nearly enough to stop me at this point. My front line is... Yeah, it hasn't moved in quite a while, so I am quite confident that I can make this happen. Maybe not attack Rome. Not yet, at any rate. Gotta open up the front more. Take Florence, ideally, and then cut across there. But... Mm, 
pressure is mounting. Like German divisions mostly pouring in now. My divisions are maneuvering in very questionable ways. They're trying to drive up there. I don't know why, but they constantly leave tiles on the front open, even though they have enough units to cover all of it. They all just want to stand on Florence for some reason. Yeah, this assault isn't going anywhere. In fact, I risk getting cut off there if I push too hard. Actually, it, they won't defend this tile. They are willing to just drive out. Um, I don't like that. Don't like that one bit. Hmm. Why is supply so garbage? Infrastructure bottleneck. Alps. Oh, this. This is the infrastructure bottleneck? Really? I don't understand what the AI is thinking. Uh, it's just not manning the front lines. It's not manning the front lines properly at all. I have to do this manually. And just hold like that for a bit. Let them bleed themselves out some more. And um, when I see a weakness, I'll pounce. The rest of the front's fine. I can pretty much run at five speed without seeing anything other than green bubbles. All right, we're getting we're getting overextended here. Um, this is this isn't gonna work. Let's just fall back to something like this. We got to uh, we got supply in Tuscany at least. I think. Yeah, we should. Um, try. I'll, I'll try and cut through here. But I've taken a lot of casualties. <sighs> this is this is terrible terrain. Oh, I thought I had a breakthrough, but just moved the stalemate. No, the weight of numbers is pushing our lines back. Um, I'll need to pull the tanks out, I think, and try a naval invasion to the south and roll my tanks north. Maybe that will work. This line should be able to hold, though, even if we lose that tile. It can just be attacked from too many different directions. The rest of the line should still be stable. Let's see what happens when I press go. I don't usually battle plan my armor like this, but uh, hey, if it works, I'll take it. Uh, it seems to be working. Why is it working? I'm not going to complain. It just is. If it looks stupid and it works, it's, uh, it's not stupid. But halt. Made some gains. I can just take two more tiles here. Cut this off and reinforce it with infantry. Ideally, I'd push up to that river, though. Eh, I'm just not confident that I can. The terrain is not optimal. And there's a lot of enemy divisions here. And we can finally make fighter threes. Oh, that one. That took long enough. Um, make them as good as I can. Finally making decent fighters. I, I don't think we'll produce enough of them on time to really matter in the air. Besides, our front lines are stable, but might help us in Italy to just undo this annoying, annoying stalemate. Oh, thank God. Okay, um, managed to cut Italy in half, sort of. I'll reinforce the north here with infantry and throw all my tanks south. Hopefully I can roll them up down to Naples. Um, espionage agency should be hard at work here right now. Keep getting our espionage network up and prepare another collaboration government, perhaps. Get two collabs on them, that should be enough. Just get infantry in position. Line is a little thin, though. If too many Germans show up, we might be in trouble. Uh, looks like we're having decent progress uh, rolling up the Italian lines, so let's see if we can't force anything with a, just a regular old attack order. Hopefully we don't lose too many tanks, but the Italians should be really weak right now. I just push the attack. I know the terrain isn't optimal, but we've waited long enough. We need a victory. Oh yeah, it's going well. It is going very well. What's China doing? I constantly hear naval... Oh, yeah, that could be why I constantly hear naval invasions. These are gone, pretty much. Not my concern. I see the US has arrived. That's very kind of you, but you're occupying my territory. Sir, how about you uh, give me military access? That should allow you to return territory to me instead of taking it for yourself. Anyway, keep rolling up these Italian lines. Casualties are going to be horrific, though. Oh, casualties are horrific. Halt. It's not worth it. How are we looking? Uh, we're not that close to capitulation anymore, so yay. Germans have lost 5 million men. Very nice. Italians are on the verge of capitulation, so that's good. I think they'll fold once um, this finishes, but it's going to take a while still. Our manpower is almost all gone. Okay, logistics companies are nice. Signal company is good. I don't know if I can actually afford to add more stuff. Yeah, we need more manpower. I don't know where to get it, though. Don't know where to get it. Oh, well, I, I could borrow some Indian manpower. Surely India has manpower. 
he has no manpower. Oh. Nobody really has the compliance that I need to get manpower from them. No, not even close. I really don't want to go up to service by requirement, but I might end up having to do so anyway. Uh, see if I can cheese an encirclement. No, nah. They responded too quickly. No, no, I'm not gonna break him now. This has to be some of the dumbest things I've ever done with tanks. Pushing through mountains like this. Not optimal. <laughs> not optimal at all. I, I don't have the luxury, though, of recruiting more troops. Uh, unless I bump up my recruitment laws. Yeah, I might end up having... Yeah, I'm gonna, gonna need more manpower, so service by requirement it is. Every Belgian will be pressed into service for the good of the nation. One upside of their capital being relocated to Palermo here is I can convoy raid the hell out of them. And that might end up with them uh, slowly starving. At least we can hope that is what happens. Come on, push through, push through, push through. Uh, come on. Oh, nice encirclement. Close that. At least it's six Italian divisions we don't have to worry about. This campaign has dragged on for a long time, but we've brought it back from the brink. And I am committed now. I'm gonna defeat Italy. I don't know if I can defeat Germany. They're just... yeah. Uh, if China defeats Japan, however, I can pull the Chinese faction in against the German Reich, and that might give us a chance. I'm gonna leave this order to run. Uh, we should be able to defeat their units. They're weak. My tanks are strong. We'll push south without too many difficulties. They'll capitulate soon anyway. And uh, when that happens, we need to be in position to exploit that. How close are they? They're very close. Actually, they're almost there, so next victory point I take probably gonna be it like Taranto. That's probably gonna be enough. If not Taranto, I'll just need to push up to Bologna once I've nudged them off the boot. Oh, overrun. Oh, more divisions gone. Good, good, good. Very nice, very nice. Leo Belgicus rises from the ashes. I'm guessing there's a lot of foreign divisions here as well. Like, uh, I see. Oh, there goes Italy. There goes Italy. All right, and with that, I think we are going to end this disaster game here. I call this one saved. We've stabilized the line to the north. We've actually pushed it to Germany a little bit and we are very much secure. We are not gonna lose this. We've knocked out Italy, one half of the dynamic duo here. Well, not, not taking these little ones into account. And we have managed to stabilize the Alpine front, more or less. There's a fallback line available. So this disaster game is saved. Defeating Germany is not going to be difficult. Well, it's not gonna be easy, but it will take time. And unfortunately, that is one of the things I I do not have at this moment. I'm a very busy man. However, if people are interested in seeing a part two to this disaster save, where I quickly, well, quickly, where I mop up Germany, let me know in the comments and we'll see what we can do. If enough people ask for it, it might happen, because that is a big, big Germany. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something as well. If you did, leave a like, consider subscribing and hit that bell icon to be notified whenever I upload more content. If you didn't like it, that's fine. Hit that dislike button and tell me what I did wrong in the comments. I'm always willing to learn. Now, if you want to support the channel and support what I do, consider checking out the YouTube membership. It's down there, that join button next to the subscribe button. It will take you to the membership page. It has all the information you need. And if you have your own disaster saves that you want to send into the channel, just send them to the email address I I have in the description down below. The save file, the original one, is also down there if you want to try this challenge yourself. Anyway, this has been me, Bittersteel, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.